A disastrous scenario is unfolding in the Bahamas, where Hurricane Dorian has reached catastrophic strength. Dorian is now bearing down on the northern islands as a fierce Category 5 hurricane. With its strongest winds already topping 280 kilometers per hour, Dorian is about as powerful as an Atlantic storm can get, according to the National Hurricane Center. Forecasters say the storm's core of heavy rain and ferocious winds could sit on top of the islands over two or three days. You're talking a major hurricane over the Bahamas for 30 hours plus, and that's major hurricane winds, that storm surge of 10 and even 20 feet in some of those areas, and then you put the waves on top of that. That's also torrential rainfall, 15 to 20 inches, isolated 30 inches of rainfall. A lot of flat terrain there, very dangerous, life-threatening situation for the Bahamas. This forecast scenario could unleash a devastating blow to the Bahamas. Even after Dorian unleashes its full fury, residents will have to ride out the storm before first responders can venture outside to rescue anyone. The police will not be coming for you in the middle of a hurricane. You will have to hunker down. It's not exactly clear where Dorian will go next, making it a nail-biter in the United States. And, uh, thank you, Mr. President. For, uh, President Donald Trump at a meeting with FEMA officials says the White House is prepared to confront the hurricane. We don't even know what's coming at us. All we know is it's possibly the biggest. I have not sure, I'm not sure that I've ever even heard of the Category 5. I knew it existed. Dorian punched northwest this weekend to threaten Georgia, Alabama and the Carolinas, possibly sparing the coast of Florida a direct strike. But Dorian continues to menace Floridians, as it's still a dangerous hurricane that could move close enough to do major damage in parts of the state. Trump, whose prized Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida, was once directly in the storm's potential path, warned on the dangers of Dorian, urging Americans not to let their guard down. I ask everyone in Hurricane Dorian's path to heed all warnings and evacuation orders from local authorities. It's been working. It's just been building out there. It's been moving very slowly. It's a bad thing, not a good thing. The Hurricane Center says Dorian made landfall in the Bahamas tied for the strongest Atlantic hurricane on record with the 1935 Labor Day hurricane. Now, as it moves across the islands, landfall in Florida is still a possibility, as any small change in the official forecast could bring it closer to the coast. Low-lying and coastal areas in Palm Beach are now under a mandatory evacuation order. That includes Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort.